hello student so in this video we will discuss design of basic computer so uh, in design of basic computer we will start with the uh, configuration so after configuration we will start discussion uh, with the uh, how control logic gates can be implemented or like this so let us start our discussion so let us uh, first discuss configuration of basic computer so in uh, uh, beginning of this unit uh, or you can say beginning of this chapter uh, we have uh, seen that uh, in basic computer there were only RAM and uh, uh, CPU so after learning all this concept what we can say uh, basic computer consists a memory of uh, 4096 volts of 16 bit okay so we are having 4096 memory uh, various memory location where we can store 16 bit on each location now we are having total uh, nine register so ar pc d uh, dr ac ir tr INPR OUTR and sequence counter other than this uh, we are having uh, seven flag okay which are those seven flag I is for indirect S is for sign then E is for uh, extended accumulator R is for interrupt, then uh, interrupt enable, then uh, input flag, and then output flag. Yes, addition to this, we are having uh, two decoder. One is three cross eight decoder for d0 to d7 means decoding the opcode another is uh, 4 cross 16 decoder which is used for generating timing signal t0 to t15 then combining all this register and putting in a useful way so we are having a common bus then in timing and control signal we are having control logic gate and at last is a part of accumulator we are having arithmetic logic shift unit which will perform all the operation so what we can say we have started with this 4096 word and then we have discussed common bus architecture then we have discussed this uh, flag means then we have discussed timing and control then uh, instruction cycle then control logic gate so uh, now we will uh, discuss uh, what is uh, design of control logic gate now we will discuss uh, various control logic gate means how to uh, generate the signal or control input for various element various element like uh, 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 these registers nine registers now while we have discussed uh, that uh, uh, video or that topic okay in the topic we have seen that in each register we are having three input load increment and uh, clear so we will try to derive a logic uh, for one register and then uh, accordingly we can go with other element uh, next is uh, another component of uh, common bus system was memory so how to derive the logic for read input and write input to the uh, memory the next is uh, how to uh, set the or how to clear the individual flag so uh, that uh, control signal we will try to discuss then then signal uh, for selection of uh, individual register into the uh, common bus system so that also we will discuss and at last we will discuss that uh, how we can uh, uh, 
uh, design the uh, input for uh, ALS unit uh, or you can say accumulator. So uh, let us start our discussion. So uh, now we will try to focus, uh, for example, we will try to focus on one register that is address register. So uh, uh, which are the uh, component or which are the operations are there where we are using uh, we can say address register. So let me write down few transactions for you so you can have idea. Let's say first one is uh, PC2AR. Okay, uh, then next is uh, IR bit number 0 to 11 into AR then uh, M of AR into AR 0 will be stored into AR then AR is equals to AR plus 1 now uh, you might be confused that uh, which are those transactions and uh, uh, from where we have written or where, from where we have considered this transaction. So let me tell you that uh, where we have used the first uh, first transaction. Okay, so if you recall the instruction cycle, then uh, this is from the instruction cycle at uh, T0 PC to AR. Okay, so uh, timing T0 and uh, as it is the instruction cycle, so uh, there won't be interrupt cycle. So for that, R dash T0. Next is uh, IR0 to 11. So same in instruction cycle in decode stage. In T2, we will transfer the effective address of, uh, sorry, we can, uh, we will transfer the address, 12 bit address uh, of uh, IR into the AR. It will be also from instruction cycle. Next is M of AR. Uh, into AR means uh, if we are using uh, indirect addressing mode at that time so D7 dash while we pi because in memory reference instruction we will get output from D0 to D6 so D7 dash uh, then I means indirect addressing mode and timing signal will be T3 uh, next is uh, a initialize AR to 0 so this we have discussed into the interrupt cycle so interrupt cycle timing 0 so RT 0 and last one that also we have discussed in interrupt, uh, interrupt cycle or you can say uh, in uh, memory reference instruction so where we have uh, what we have discussed into memory reference instruction D5 can, any, can you uh, recall D5 what is D5 D5 is for uh, branch and save return address so Whenever we were saving the return address, at that time we have incremented the value of AR. So this is from uh, D5 T4. So, uh, so these are the sample transactions. So using this we have to uh, design the circuit for load increment and clear of uh, address register. Now in uh, which, uh, uh, which transaction we are initializing our AR to 0 so RT 0 so this will work as a clear input to AR where we are performing increment so this will be INC increment uh, input to AR and this three will be uh, load input why because in all these three operation we are loading a new value into the address register so if you want to define uh, or if you want to derive the equation for uh, let's say load input of AR okay then uh, it will be like LD of AR equals to what is the first condition R dash T0 or next uh, R dash T2 next d7 dash i t3 for clear input of ar what is the equation r t0 for increment inr of ar we are having two condition uh, sorry we are having only one condition d5 t4 T4. 
okay so if we uh, try to derive a circuit uh, or if we try to design a circuit for ar okay then it will look like let's say uh, let us start with load input so first is r dash uh, t0 so there will be a end gate next is uh, r dash t2 so there will be another end gate then next is d7 dash uh, then i and t3 there will be an end gate and we will put or gate why because if any of this condition is true then load input of ar should be enabled so for that reason we will use or gate So this OR gate will goes to the load input of uh, we can say AR. Yeah. Then uh, next is CLR. Okay, so already we are having R. So we will R dash. So we will complement it. And uh, what is next? T zero. So T zero is also there. So this will go to the clear input. What is last? D7 dash. Sorry, D5 T4. So D5 and T4 will put one end gate. And this will go to the INR input. So if we draw address register here. then uh, this is the first input ld next input increment next input clr okay this is ar and definitely there will be uh, a clock input so a common clock will be given then uh, this is 12 bit output and this is 12 bit input means input from common bus and uh, output for common bus so this is how we can uh, develop circuit uh, for individual register so similarly we have to develop circuit for pc dr ac ir tr uh, then input register output register and sequence counter so uh, in uh, this video uh, we will keep up to this in next video uh, we will continue our discussion with uh, memory and some other component of uh, we can say basic computer thank you